Kamusta? Today I will show you how to completely change the brake fluid and bleed the brake system on a Toyota Wigo. Ito yung mga kailangan natin. 900ml of brake fluid, not 3. 8mm wrench. I'm using a flare nut but you can use an ordinary one. Flex handle bar, half inch dive. Deep socket, 21 inch. Torque wrench, half inch drive. Isang bote na may takip. Plastic tubing. I'm recycling an old tubing from a nebulizer medical device. At syempre mga basahan. This is the current level of my brake fluid after 2 years. This is the maximum mark. And this is the minimum level. Let's remove the rubber cap. There's a filter inside the master cylinder to prevent any contaminants or mga dumi from getting inside the brake system. Since mahirap itong tanggalin and I don't think Toyota wants this filter to be removed, the plan is to top off the master cylinder, then papalabasin natin yung mga lumang fluid from all four wheels later. In other words, we will mix the new fluid with the old one, then we will flush or bleed the brake system using our 900 ml of brake fluid. Open the lid to the new brake fluid container. According to the owner's manual, the fluid type is J1703.3. So we are using the right fluid for we go. We are now ready to top off the master cylinder. Iwasang may matapon sa engine bay o fender dahil nakakasira ng pintura ang brake fluid. So, top off the master cylinder. Then, ibalik ang rubber cap. Ibalik din ang plastic cap sa brake fluid bottle. Then, go to the right rear wheel. Use the flex handle bar and 21 inch socket to loosen the nuts. Jack up the Wigo. Remove the nuts completely, then remove the tire. We will bleed the right rear wheel first. Tanggalin ang rubber plug nung sa bleeder screw. May mga ibinibenta na brake bleeder kit. Pero since wala tayo niyan at wala tayong pambili, gagawa tayo ng sarili nating bleeder kit. So we need a bottle with a cap. Some tubing, ipapasok natin dun sa loob. So remove the cap from the bottle. Gusto ko tong bote na to dahil matiba yung base at very clear yung glass. So get your um, long nose pliers, lighter, at concrete nail. Paiinitan natin yung pako at itutusok natin sa gitna ng plastic cap. You can also use a candle or yung apoy from a gas stove. So mag-iingat ng mabuti. Inisin ang butas, ipasok ang tubing. So we will suck the old fluid from all four wheels. At ilalagay natin sa bote na ito. And to make sure na walang hangin na papasok sa brake system, lalagyan natin ng konting uh, brake fluid ang bote. Ilagay ang tubing sa loob. Isara ang takip. Loosen the bleeder screw. Ilagay ang kabilang end ng tubing. Makikita niya unting-unting lumalabas ang brake fluid. Pump the brake pedal for 8 times. Slow and steady. And press it down all the way to the floor. 
after 8 times check the master cylinder so mula doon bumaba yung brake fluid malapit sa minimum level at yun ang kailangan natin hanggang sa minimum level lang tanggalin ang tubing higpitan ang bleeder screw ilagay ang rubber plug Top off the master cylinder again. We don't want the master cylinder to run dry. So hanggang sa minimum level lang tayo. So punuin. Mag-ingat. At ilagay ang takip. Ito yung nakuha nating brake fluid from the rear right wheel. According to the owner's manual, we should change the brake fluid every 40,000 kilometers or 24 months, whichever comes first. Ibalik ang gulong. Ilagay ang wheel nuts. Tanggalin ng jack stands at ang hydraulic jack, ililipat natin ito sa kabilang side. We will now bleed the left rear side. We will follow the same drill. Tanggalin ang uh, rubber plug, luwagan ang bleeder screw, ilagay ang tubing. Then, pump up the brake pedal for several times. Eight times more or less before we check the master cylinder. Dapat dun sa minimum lang and that's spot on. So we can stop, remove the tubing, tighten the bleeder screw, then put back the rubber plug. Ibalik ang gulong. Hand tighten the wheel nuts for now. Punuin uli ang master cylinder. Ibalik ang takip. We will now bleed the right front wheel. It's very important to change the brake fluid and bleed it. Most of the times, we're so concerned kung paano aandar ng maayos yung sasakyan. We don't take time to think kung paano hihinto o hihindu pa ba. O tama pa ba yung brake fluid sa loob nito? So check the level. Stop kung nasa minimum mark na. Remove the tubing. Tighten the bleeder screw. Put back the plug. Yun yung drill. Then refill the master cylinder. Hindi ko na ipapakita kung paano mag-bleed dun sa left front wheel. Right rear wheel first, then left rear. Right front, then left front. Ganun dapat yung order ng pag-bleed ng wheels. I hope marami kayong natutunan and I hope this would challenge you to change the brake fluid and bleed the brake system on your Toyota Wego next time. May God bless you and I'll see you soon.